Hello, this is Granny here with a uh, kind of Rocket League analysis video, I guess. Um, I got sent a replay by a guy named Cap Allen who wanted some just basic tips on how to improve. He's only unranked, so it's going to be a very low level gameplay, a lot of sort of bumper cars and uh, sort of running around the ball a bit. But uh, I'm going to try and sort of put it down into kind of general tips, I guess, um, and keep it at that kind of level which we'll get several examples of and I'll try and give my own examples of things you could have done potentially um, so yeah we'll just start from the beginning and I'll stop and reverse it and so on when it gets to things that need to talk about so here we go so the first tip comes straight away from moment one of this game and it comes right about here I mean look at the situation you are coming down the wing, just grab some boost, which is great. Uh, your teammate Arab has, has just gone off the side there. Um, he's rushing back. Uh, your teammate Aiden is going for the ball. And he's a lot closer to it than you are. So, assuming that he can drive straight and drive straight towards it, he's going to hit that ball. Um, so, in this position, I would probably sort of slow down a bit. Wait to see what happens with that ball try and pick it up from wherever it goes. He's going to hit it somewhere towards the goal, or towards the wall because of the angle he's going at it. Um, so it's going to bounce somewhere, you know, back towards the goal sort of area, or along at least. Um, but you don't know exactly where. So just give him a bit of space. And that's tip number one. Give your teammates some space and give them the benefit of the doubt, especially if they're closer to the ball because at this level, they're going to go for it regardless of what you want <laughs> and regardless of whether they're in a good position to, which I'll come back to later. So he hits it and in the end, nobody really benefits. It's it's, it's a bit of a brawl from this moment on. Um, people circle it a bit, teammate misses. Um, and then he goes into the corner, gets a really good pinch and up into the air, comes down. And here you're kind of a bit indecisive. Um, about what to do there um, and again this is more about instead of tracking just your teammates in fact uh, let's just go back instead of just tracking your teammates you also need to be able to track the ball I mean you've just seen it's gone to the roof um, so stands to reason it's going to fall down with some kind of speed um, and you can see where the ball outline is so at this point you've got a few choices you either rush the ball and get it as it's bouncing or you semi-rush the ball, get it just after it's bounced, so sort of a good few feet off the ground, sort of a car or two off the ground. Or you ignore it and just go, I can't get to there in time, or it's risky if I try and get there in time. I'm just going to go and get into a better position. And that might have been the best option here. Um, but if you did want to happen to, to actually go for the ball, um, you could have tried something like this. Obviously, you've got to be pretty quick off the mark to be able to do that. Um, but uh, moving into a better position and just waiting it out isn't a bad option, especially if you keep ball cam on. And that's another topic I'll get to a bit later. Um, but yeah, here it goes up to the other end. Um, again, this is sort of about tracking the ball a bit more. Well, actually, this is kind of combining the two previous ones, tracking teammate and tracking the ball. You can see that Arab's going off the ball. He's getting... He's, go he's on the right line um, for where the ball is going. So it stands reason he's going to hit it. Where is it going to go if he hits it? It's going to go towards the goal-ish. So you could probably be boosting towards that far post right now. Um, again, it's this is a completely different skill to figure out where the ball is going to be, where the ball is going to hit. Because I wouldn't have expected to hit the wall there, potentially. Um, but it's just being prepared. Even if you had just been a little slightly bit quicker getting the boost on, you may have been able to get something on that ball. Um, so yeah, just try and read the play as much as possible and see where the ball's going, where your teammates are trying to hit it. Um, yeah, ball goes out in the end. Nothing really comes from it. Bit of craziness. Yeah, probably could have grabbed that boost in the corner there. But yeah, minor things. Teammate grabs that one. Nothing really happening. It's just kind of circling and chasing right now. Uh, in this position, I mean, you can see that your teammate is in front of you. He's probably going to try and go for it. 
Um, and you coming in from a slightly weird angle probably isn't going to help either, because it's just going to be crowded around the ball. You may have wanted to get a better position by your own goal and come at it, depending on what happens between this 50-50, between Aiden, Paul, and whoever else happens to be around. Um, so yeah, in the end, again, it, it doesn't actually go anywhere. Everyone misses it. Um, ball gets free. Bumper cars. Um, and so here... Paul goes, hits it, comes straight back off the wall. I mean, you might have been able to read that, and in which case, when it came back off the wall, because you can see that he's going from the middle straight towards that ball. At this point, you should be able to tell, it's going to come off the wall, it's going to come back on. So instead of just going straight along, you possibly could have boosted left, get some kind of hit on it, it would have gone towards their corner or their goal. Depends how good the angle was. Uh, depends how good the shot, the, the actual hit you get on it. Um, so in the end, potential opportunity there. Um, the other guy doesn't really do much with it. Um, so grab the boost if possible. And here's the fourth tip. Uh, and that would be choose very carefully whether you should be the one to go for the ball. It's something that a lot of people in this level do not do. And even to the end of prospect, don't really do very well. Here you should not be going towards the ball. You should be going towards your goal. Sort of way off to the to the right somewhere there, um, because at this point your goalie's coming out, and at this point nobody's in goal really. Um, so yeah, let your goalie deal with it. He's in goal for a reason, and you hitting it towards the goal or heading back straight towards the ball is is not a great thing. Uh, because if the goalie did get a deflection, you were heading straight for the ball anyway. He could deflect it onto you and into the goal as well. So, just bear in mind whether you should be the one actually going for the ball. Um, and that kind of that kind of twins with the first two. Knowing where your teammates are, knowing where the ball is. So yeah, let's keep going. Uh, ooh. That was four people going for it. <laughs> that kind of stuff happens. I love it. Uh, so look, it goes into the corner again. Your teammate just hit it. You didn't quite give enough room to be able to react to it, but that's all right. Uh, try and hit it up. That's okay. And at this point, you didn't even know that goal had gone in. You're not in ball count. Um, and that is one thing I will pick up throughout. Um, this is that you don't seem to be using ball cam too much. I know you said in Discord that you do. This replay, at least the player view, doesn't seem to think so. Um, it's so important to be in ball cam as much as you can. Just to get an awareness of those first two things. Awareness where the ball is, awareness of where the people around it are. If you know those two things, do you know where the ball is going to go? Um, to, to, well, most of the time at least. Um, here, good idea. You, you realise that your teammate was closer, you sort of sat back a little bit. Admittedly you slowed down, you probably have handbraked maybe turn if you needed to but uh, going back to the ball cam thing uh, one use of a ball cam um, or non ball cam is either dribbling which is quite an advanced topic or um, if you wanted to get boost uh, you can just point yourself at the boost and just keep the forward button pressed and you know that you'll get that boost so something like this so you're going around using boost, you want to get the boost in the corner. Aim at it. And when you get the noise and sort of begin being in that corner. Just give it a little tap. Uh, see where you're going. It's great for that kind of thing. Uh, I mean, and the rest of it. It's just getting aware of your surroundings, really. So, just a little something. Uh, another use of non-ball cam. In general, you want to stay in it just to, to get that awareness. Alright, stuff happens. Teammate scores. Wonderful. In fact, I'm going to whiz it on a little bit. Uh, another note. When you go in for kickoffs, it seems pretty common for you to only jump once, I noticed. Uh, which means you kind of just flounder afterwards because you're sort of somewhere up the ball. I would definitely advise double jumping uh, when just before you reach the ball in a kickoff. Um because that way you get there quicker and you're flatter against it. So just hold the direction you want to go and just double tap jump when you get there. It's pretty important. So I'm going to slow it down again. Um, 
yeah, so that's just another little mechanic you'll get used to as you go along. Interestingly here, if you think back to, like, the third thing I said, uh, when that ball went high and you chose to to go for it and sort of sit under it, here, much the same situation. In fact, if the ball had just been slightly further along, it would have been exactly the same. Uh, here you go, no, I ain't going for that. That ain't mine. I can't hit that. I'm just going to go back. And it's a safe decision. It's a reasonable decision because... They, they do what they do. Um, and here again, another example of uh, giving your teammates some space. Again, you're in the goal. Your teammate's boosting towards it. He's going to get there before you. Uh, instead of sort of giving him some room, slowing down a bit, you keep going. Um, which means that when this guy gets some kind of hit off, he goes straight on top of you. Straight over you. If you had had given him that space, you might have been able to react to that properly. Because that's why you give them space in the beginning. Um, so that you can change the situation. Um, anyway, play goes on. It's a bit scrappy. Bonk. Um, guy flying around on the roof again. <laughs> okay, so here, again, hitting it towards your own goal. Uh, and in the end, they score off that, by the way. Um, so here you miss it. It's a rookie mistake. It's fine. Uh, but then you have the choice of whether you hit it afterwards. When you're coming at it from the right-hand side and you're pointing pretty much towards your own goal here, don't hit it. Just miss it entirely. Go round the other side of the ball. Go towards your goal. And at least that way, if you do need to go to the ball because no one else is, you'll have a good angle to actually clear it rather than hit it towards your own net. Um, which is what happens. It goes, pops up, and it goes straight into the middle because of the shape of the map. It happens sometimes. Um... But it was preventable. Um, again, choosing your battles. So yeah, single jump there again. Whee! Okay, so... Only 43 seconds left on the clock. Uh, I think it's at the other end of the pitch. There's one last thing I wanted to go through. Uh, and yeah, it's right here. Okay, so... Here you got three people. All going for the same ball. And it's one of those 50-50 situations where almost anything has happened. Your guy might get it and score. That's quite a possibility. The defender might pull off a great save. You don't know. So it's dropping down right in front of goal. Um, again, give your teammates some space. Instead, you boost. You go flying towards it uh, because you think, oh, opportunity. When actually it's moving in a not very great sort of direction for you. Uh, if you had sort of stayed slow, maybe gone towards the boost at this point, because you know it's going back at this point, if you were going slow, you could adjust to it, move around, and then come in from the side and potentially get a shot or a great pass up the wall again. But instead, you don't really get that opportunity. So, uh, yeah, that is pretty much it for this replay. Um, that was about five or six things, <laughs> I think. Um, but yeah, Game awareness is something that will grow over time. It's something that you'll get used to. And the more you give space and the more you trust your, your teammates, the better. Um, but, uh, yeah, hopefully this has been useful to you. And, I mean, if anyone else wants a replay gone through like this, um, feel free to send them along to me. I'm frown on Discord or wherever. But, uh, until next time, see ya.